Hi, this is Nicholas York, a registered education and migration agent from Pathway to Oz. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss studying, you know, to become a civil engineering draft person or a civil engineering technician. Uh, now, this course has become increasingly popular recently with a lot of our students, um, mainly because it can skill you in an occupation, civil engineering or technician or civil engineering draft person, both are in very high demand and are on the medium to long term list um, and also on you know, most state lists. These occupations pay you know, quite well. Uh, these occupations don't require you to study at a bachelor level. Uh, you can often study at a lower level than that. These occupations usually will only take about two years to study for. And if you study the right course, it may allow you to obtain graduate work visas upon completions of these courses. Uh, in addition to this, we've actually had quite a few students study this course and they find it relatively easy in comparison to a lot of other jobs to find employment you know, in roles in Australia. It's also a really good option if you're not looking to you know, study a trade course like carpentry or you know, bricklaying or whatever it is. A lot less physical, a lot more white collar, a lot less blue collar. All right, so what do civil engineering drafts persons or technicians do? Well, a civil engineering drafts persons prepares, you know, detailed drawings and designs and plans, you know, for civil engineering works. Uh, a civil engineering technologist assists civil engineers in like research, design, construction, maintenance of civil engineering projects. So a civil engineering technician is a little bit more, you know, in depth than a civil engineering draft person. Um, throughout the course, you know, students would hope to gain knowledge of drafting, modelling, environmental engineering, project management, you know, and estimating skills. Uh, typical projects that you could expect to work on in one of these occupations would be, you know, the usual civil works, so things like housing, building, roads, bridges, developments, you know, things like that. Um, and you know you can find employment in different industries such as engineering, obviously, uh, mining, construction, you know, government, you know, and many others. So there are a few locations where you can study this course as an international student in Australia, including Brisbane, you know, potentially Melbourne, Adelaide. In each city, the course is offered a little differently, um, but the content is quite similar. Uh, personally, I think probably the best course or the best place to study it would be in Brisbane. Um, so that's the one I'll give you sort of a bit of a general overview of the, what the course is like. So the course goes for two years. Uh, it would have intakes in the end of July, no, the middle of July and the end of January. Each year is divided into two semesters. So let's say you start in January, you'd study until about mid-June. You'd then have about three weeks break. You'd then start the second semester in you know, mid-July and study till about the end of November. Uh, you would then look to, you know, have about a couple of months holiday and start it again, you know, in the second year. So, I mean, the course is quite challenging. Uh, you often have to attend class, you know, three days, very occasionally probably four days as well. So, if you're looking for an easy and relaxing course, you know, this, this probably isn't for you. So, some of the requirements, you know, to study this course, obviously you need to have completed secondary schooling, um, you need to be a native speaker of English or have competent English, so IELTS 6. Uh, you need to be strong at maths uh, and I'd, I'd probably recommend having decent computer skills as well. As civil engineering drafts person and civil engineering technician are both on the immigration's medium to long term strategic skills list, if you study this course you know you potentially should be able to apply for a what's called a graduate work visa or a 485 visa. This is an open work visa that will allow you to live and work in Australia for up to 18 months upon completion of your course um, and throughout this time you know a lot of graduates would use this time to build up the skills and experience needed to obtain a full skills assessment which hopefully you know they can use this to then apply for different sort of permanent general skilled migration visas such as you know the skilled or state nominated um, the skilled regional the 491 uh, or you know if you can get enough points the, the 189 look so we're very pumped about this course at pathway to oz uh, and if you would like to you know request any additional information on it or would like to enroll in the course feel free to contact pathway to oz uh, on our website, through email, over the phone, or through our Facebook page. Thank you.